Welcome back to Toy Thomas Presents a Google Drive How To. This is Google Drive How To 4 of 10. This is Lesson 3.1. Let's tour the drive more. We're going to be starting in Chrome. You can use whatever browser you're most comfortable with. And we're already in the Drive app and we're going to be looking down the left side of the app. At the very top we have the um, add icon. This is where you click to add to your drive and access the different ways to do that. You can create new folders, you can upload files and folders, you can you can create blank items such as documents, spreadsheets, etc. Next is the My Drive icon, and this brings you back to all the folders and files you created, or it brings you back to the landing page. This drop down here is just a list view of the folders you've created. Next is the shared drive icon. This brings you to your team drives for work, committees, or collaborations. This will only appear if you have a business organiza or organizational Google account or if a business or organization has added you to a shared drive. I have been added to a shared drive, but I've hidden it from myself because the person who added me to that drive never removed me from it after I left that organization. So like I said, if you have a business organization, um, you can add people to drives. If you don't, you can only be added by a business organization. So this may or may not be there. Next, we have the um, shared <laughs> the shared icon. This is um, brings you to individual files and folders shared with you by others when they're you don't need like a whole drive for it. So these are all different things that have been um, shared with me by other people. Next is the recent icon. And recent basically shows you the last items you accessed and keeps a record of when you accessed it, usually divided in um, by days and weeks. Next is the starred icon. Um, this is great for um, items that you have marked as important. I rarely use this, as you can see, but if prioritizing files and documents is important to you, this will come in handy. Next is the trash. And um, <laughs> this shows you items that have been removed or recently deleted, um, usually in order by week. Anything that's more than 30 days old will be automatically deleted permanently. Within that 30 days, if you decide you want to keep something, you can restore it so that it is not deleted. And then the last icon is your storage icon. And it just shows you how much storage you have, how much storage you've used, and if you need to buy more storage. The only reason I'm currently using three um, 2.3 gigs is because I do have some video content and I'm going to be moving that to um, YouTube soon and that's going to dramatically reduce um, the amount of gigs I'm using. All right, that is all I have for today. Um, I do hope you're getting something out of this. <laughs> um, if you like this video, please consider giving it that little thumbs up. Um, of course, you know, share this with anyone else you think that might find it helpful. Um, I will continue tr trying to post these on Tuesdays and Thursdays for the next few weeks, um, keeping trying to keep the installments short as well. But if you will go ahead and subscribe to this channel and click the little bell, you'll get notifications when um, more videos are posted. Uh, again, I do apologize that comments are disabled for this series. That is an exclusive feature I'm offering to my Patreon supporters, along with the transcript of the course. Um, if you'd like to leave me a comment, visit my About page. You can email me there, or you can visit me on my website and leave me a comment there. Or, of course, you could always join my Patreon community at the creator or tribe level. But either way, <laughs> until next time, this is Toy saying, Stay safe and be blessed.